after putting the post up on Instagram I had a lot of requests to do a video on how to or how I sharpen and service my hedge cut heads uh, so here we go as always this is very much how I do it and it's not necessarily how others do it so the first thing to do uh, take the sole plate off the bottom of the hedge cutter doing this first because I need to access the bolts where their blades attach inside uh, I could actually just take the blade bolts out first but then you've got them flopping about so I prefer to just take the innards out first as you can see there's a lot of moisture in there as well condensation etc so very carefully take it apart as you take it apart lay them out in order that they came out in as well it will help you later so I'm taking the drive rod off as you can see there's bearings in that um, not all, all hedge cutters are going to be exactly the same but they will be very similar as they all run basically by the same principle um, but just be careful when you take them apart your bearings right just taking the uh, cam cog or spur wheel whichever you want to call it off and this point start taking the blade bolts out one thing I seriously suggest is you wear gloves when you do this um, one slip and it's gonna hurt so gloves are quite important Something you need to be really careful of is in here, there's spacers the bolt goes through, uh, which sit inside the blades. Don't lose them, um, because they get a lot of old grease and dirt builds up around them. They can fall out when you take them apart and you will not know they're there. So, don't lose them. So I've took the last of the bolts out and the dust cover cap whichever you want to call it and then it's gently take her apart and I shall leave the top drive rod in I know where it is then so here we have our blades now mine are always kept sharp whatever but they do get a bit of a battering and get nicks in the blades etc so probably about once a year all my hedge cutters I do this to them um, I do sharpen through the year as well and there's the spacers as you can see they're not the biggest things and you need to know they're there this particular hedge cutter head is a Honda um, it's actually quite a good head and uh, yeah, I have pretty good blades on these and can't see so well but uh, there is if you can just see there see a nick in the blade and after you take them apart you will find more than you realize the first thing I do is give them a good clean and I use white spirits obviously different people use different stuff but uh, I find this suits me and, and it's cheap <laughs> I'm doing this outside in the back of the van as you can see the wind blowing it's ventilation and also natural light I find it a lot easier and then with a soft wire brush uh, a bit of elbow grease and uh, give them a good scrub uh, they won't come up like new because nothing's like new apart from new but uh, they, they do come up well.
once I've cleaned both blades, uh, it's got all the old sap and grease and dirt off it, uh, I sharpen. Now I sharpen with a file. I personally don't like grinders of any kind on hedge cutters, but that is only my choice. And if other people want to put grinders on, that is fine by me. Uh, this is just my preference. I use a fine to medium file and always pays to have a good quality file. I think this one was about 20 quid. And slowly but surely work my way along. I tend to do five or six teeth. And then I do the curve of the tooth with a chainsaw file. Um, I used to struggle to file the, the curve of the tooth but somebody actually commented once about it and uh, it works out really well. Filing by hand isn't necessarily everyone's cup of tea but uh, I, I, I personally find it very satisfying um, and does a top job. I don't time myself but I would say from taking the first bolt out to putting the last bolt back in it probably takes around an hour and a half to two hours to do a service like this on, on one of the hedge cut heads. Once the whole blade is sharpened, on the underside, a uh, squirt of uh, WD-40 or some sort of spray and a flat stone and I gently hold it nice and flat, give it a rub, it takes any burrs off or if there's any sort of particular wear points on the uh, blade, flattens them out. And once both blades are done, it's a matter of putting things back together again. Um, advantage with this Honda head, I can actually assemble the blade before I put it back in. So, put the bolts through the bottom, a little bit of penetrating oil, and then put the bottom blade on. Then I put some grease in the bolt slots. Uh, one, it it'll lubricate them and also when I put the spacers back in sort of helps hold them in place uh, while we're sort of rolling the hedge cut head about and they can fall out. Um, when reassembling it can be a little bit fiddly so don't be in a rush just uh, take your time. So once I put the spacers back in uh, a little bit of penetrating oil again on top of the blade. You may as well do it now because the blades are really dry obviously. And then put the uh, top blade on. And then again a little bit more penetrating oil. And then put the top bar on. Obviously if you uh, at this point rolled the 
blade over to do the bolts up, it's all gonna fall apart. Uh, so I use a pair of tweezers, hold the bottom of the bolt, and try at least nip one up a little bit, just to help clamp everything together. But um, again, it's fiddly, but uh, it's not impossible. So once the blade's done, I then scrape all the old grease out that I can get out of the gearbox and then repack it. Obviously you don't want to go too mad and make it solid as a rock but uh, I tend to put it in in layers. Uh, grease a little bit, put the top drive rod back in, uh, a bit more grease and now the cog's going back. Now because the cog has to go in and marry up with that drive rod it can be fiddly sometimes you're lucky and it'll go in straight away and another time you could spend 10 minutes trying to line it up um, I think it took me a couple of minutes to get this one to line up and then off your blade up onto the drive rod and on this particular one, bolt it back on. And then I put the next drive rod back on. Bear in mind, watch your fingers, because then bl blades before the drive rod goes on are free to move. And then I just put some more grease in. I say I layer it as I go. And now I've put the nylon dust guard back in and then this plate. Uh, I've put a little bit of grease on the bottom of the sole plate and then put it back in. One thing you need to be really careful of is when you do up the bolts on the blades, um, different hedge cuts will be slightly different. Some will do up solid and some you have to fiddle a little bit with. Um, you don't want to lock your blades up because it'll burn your clutch out, etc. So once I've done it all and tightened everything, I just get a pair of pliers and on the drive rod end, just give it a twiddle, make sure they're free. Um, you don't want them too tight. Obviously if they're loose, they won't cut very well. And there you go, all done. Um, I wouldn't say as good as new, but uh, probably 90% of the way there. Hope it was of help and uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.